Avatus. I do like to get there my. There is um, the monster for the chapter attack. I do like to get my uh, sentry turrets down because those sentry turrets often help with ads. Bioplasma, clear that area. Get out of the way, get out of the way. That will hurt even terminators. It's charging! Move! Man, you, you, got a, you got a thing on the target. It's charging! Move! Corey took both of them. Whoa, go out of the way, go out of the way, go out of the way, go out of the way. Ah! Whoa. Got it. All of your kind will die, alien. All of you. Love the shield heal combo. Get in trouble, hit the shield, hit the health. That seems to really get you out of a lot of trouble. We picked up a nice power axe at the end there, and we got that level 20 standard, which is nice. There we go, and we don't get any additional deployments anyway, so. Yeah, a bunch of trash, but level 20 power axe looks pretty nice, I have to say. Not that I plan on using it, but uh, it's there. Oh, see, we're getting lots of these optional missions again. Right. Um, let's see. So I want to keep that power axe. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Thirty-four energy to all nearby allies, forty-eight health to all nearby allies, and forty-three suppression resistance. Mm, no, I actually prefer the level eighteen. I like the melee skill, the additional armor rating. Given how I like throw my force commander into the thick of it, I actually prefer that rather than if maybe if he was ranged and buffing and stuff. But no, I actually prefer what I've got, even though it's a slightly lower level. Okay, right. Let's just check and see what we've got going on here then. Salt cannon, level 18, level 20, just basic power fist, level 20, terminator power fist, that's quite nice. Uh, level 20, thunder hammer. Three day left, optional defense. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in. So that's three days left. These are five days anyway. So I think I'm going to go to Maru. I'm going to do, definitely do that because if I look at my force commander, he's only got a level 19, and I actually quite like the look of the stats on that other one. So let's go to Meridian. Let's do the defense, and I'm probably going to pick off a couple of these while I'm there, and that should clear out these non-time limited because they shouldn't come back. this one there commander the orcs are about to overrun a shrine dedicated to the emperor losing this shrine would bring shame to our chapter and deal a serious blow to sector morale this would deprive us of the emperor's blessings one of the things slowing the tyranny advance protect the shrine at all costs okay We will not allow the aliens to desecrate this place. Okay. Make sure our generators remain in place, Commander. We cannot protect the shrine without them. Are you gonna place it or what? Get 
two sets of mines down at least at the back. Because there will be storm boys. Maybe I can get a third one. Okay, pick up this. with that for clearing these dudes. Oh no, they're getting rid of him. Tank buster. Okay, head back. Take that. Thank you. Where are they coming from this time? Can't see. They're coming from this side. Thule to repair. Always get Thule to repair, literally, like straight away. Devastator Marines, adjust your positions. Bring those Devastators back a little bit. Here they come. Right, I just want those uh, heavy weapons to come up. There we go. how you deal with storm boys. Two knobs. Storm boys incoming. Oh, they were just outside of range of the uh, dreadnought melee. this side this time. So the force commander over there, dreadnought up the front. Good job Amethyst, a shot a plant. <laughs> you stuck your missile into a plant. Uh, very good uh, defense that in turn the uh, Storm Boys went after the Force Commander. Kind of interesting. There we go. We've got Dreadnought incoming. Off the knobs, please. Now go off the dreadnought. Got a tank buster up there as well. Get that dreadnought down. Right now, go after the tank buster. Get rid of their storm boys. There we go. Right. 
The other thing you get with um, Deviant Thor's melee attack is the stun. So you saw there, by stunning the Storm Boys, I had plenty of time to finish off what was left before I had to worry about finishing them off because they couldn't really move. Alright, final assault, 10 seconds. Deviant Thor still full. He hardly took that much damage on that one, actually. They're coming back the same way. Where are you going? Back in here, please. Tactical squad repositioning. Let's have a sight plan. Let's just for some fun. It's a bit like hit and miss. Like I say, for a, for a, uh, a limited ranged attack, it's a bit mad. Maybe on some like oh tank buster. Um, you know, maybe on like some tyrannids that are all bunched up or something. I don't know. Well, okay, finish that uh, anti-tank mob. Good. Oh, okay, now finish the dread. Oh crap, where is... There we go. There we go, he's gone. We Done. stand victorious in the Emperor's shadow. Caliber Zero on Twitch. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yes, I'm back. I've been back. When did I stream? I streamed. Zeal and Fury are rewarded with victory. Uh, did I stream on Thursday last week? Yeah, I streamed Thursday last week. Uh, and I streamed last night, and I'm doing tonight. So no, it's not Space I I haven't bought Space Marine 2 yet. Um, the main reason is... Um, right now, it's a lot of money. Um, I've missed the window. Everybody streamed it to death, so it's not like I'm streaming it for a first play for everyone to see. And it's predominantly a single-player campaign. Yes, I'm aware of the co-op missions, but I'm not going to lose anything. It's not like playing an MMO where you're not in on day one and you fall behind. So I'm actually going to wait for it to drop in price a little bit. Um, because there's... You know, there's lots of games to buy out there. I've not, you know, made a money, so I can't just buy all these games that I want to buy. My like wish list is like 50 games long. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, at the moment, I'm holding back. Hopefully it's on sale for Christmas. I hope so. I really, really hope so. So I thought because there's been all this hype with Space Marine 2, we play a Space Marine game. Well done, Commander. So um, the orcs will think long I'm trying to get this Dawn of War 2 Imperial campaign done. Again. So Dawn of War 2 campaign, get this one done. Um, obviously, we've got Once Human, we've got a new season coming, though I'm not quite sure um, if it's going to appeal to me or not. We'll see. Um, and, of course, there's the new Starfield expansion, Shattered Space, which I at least want to have a look at as well. So lots of things still to want to get to grips with. So we've got level 20 Thunderhammer, plus 1 to Stamina, plus 7 Melee, and heal all nearby allies for 67 health per hit. Wicked. Dawn's Retribution. Now that is a weapon. That one we kept from before. Cool. Uh, anything else here? I don't think so. So, okay. Yeah, that's looking good. So, we do have an extra deployment remaining today. There's nothing that I'm in a rush to get from here. I think I'm going to try and get rid of one of these optional targets, which um, clears off one of these non-time limited. In fact, I think I'm going to go after this one because I need that comms array. So let's go after that one. Which one is that? That's Monster of Meridian, which is this one. And then hopefully we can go get Commander, that comms array. Commander, a massive beast is tearing through our undermined defences. This creature and its brood have already laid waste to a dozen levels of the Spire, and nothing seems able to stop them. The whole Spire will be overrun in a matter of days if this horror isn't stopped. I have no other forces to deploy against it, Commander. You are the only hope. 
we are coming to the back end of this campaign now so we're not we haven't got that much further to go um of course there is then the expansion chaos rising uh and then on top of that dawn of war 2 retribution so there's those to do as well um but you know i want to see how far we can get i want to at least want to complete this one before we move on to like uh, the new part of um, either Once Human, if that is good, or um, Shattered Space, which I think is end of the month. This uh, place teems with tyranny. Starfield. Merlin. Then we right, know what we must get do, that. Avatus. Devastators under enemy attack. Under attack. Direct okay. Do you know much, Calibur, do you know much about the new season for, for once human? Oh, is it going to be PvE, PvP focused? It's a PvP season. Ugh, okay, that doesn't really interest me, which is a shame. Under attack. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't really interest me. I have to say, I'm I'm all about the PVE in once humans. So target eliminated. Join Rosetta or the Mayflies, and you have to work with your group to grab special deviants and purify them. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's not for me. Um, I do have four pieces of the Saviour armor set. I've ditched doing the um, uh, the, the Gamba machine and just uh, just bought it outright. So yeah, I'm I'm not that far away from a full Saviour set. But I don't have any more Stark properties yet. And I certainly I certainly don't expect to have enough. Um, by the end of the season to um, get the remaining pieces. But I still don't have that sniper yet either, which is a bit of a shame. You get rid of these. I'm just getting caught by rippers. Unfortunately, the, for whatever reason, the Dreadnought and Avatus got separated. Wow, can we have any more rippers? Holy crap. Where are they all coming? Target destroyed. Yeah, and for, like I say, if, if Avatar stays with the Dreadnought, then it works out fine, but he just kind of got split up. Yeah, so I definitely I definitely think it's worth not using the Gamba machine. Having having now played the Gamba machine and found the way that it, that it works, the odds with everything, it's, it's not worth using the Gamba machine until you have a, a full set of armor. Once you've got a full set of armor, then the Gamba machines, I think, are going to be more worth it. And, and maybe some weapons if you really want those certain weapons. Like, for example, I really want that sniper rifle. The bingo. Because I, I have the 50 cal, but I basically I want the, the orc. Let's face it, that's what it is. It's Carnifex. Carnifex. It's a big beastie. Carnifex is down. Incoming from behind. Tactical squad. Move on to the next target, brothers. Under attack. Yeah, there's like there's like 
so many rippers, it's crazy. My god, how many rippers? He finished the entire savior set all from all zeal, the brothers. star com you got logging in. He went after the savior? I thought you were going after the lone wolf set. What changed your mind to go with the savior set? Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Okay, thank you for that. Right, let's come down here. You should be on phase five now. Yeah, that's what I used to get the um that that it's that logging in because I logged in yet uh yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. It's that logging in that allowed me to get the three p because I already had one piece of the savior set. The three pieces I needed um to get me to to a four set. Yeah, I, I unfortunately I already have that. The Sega thing. It's, okay, so it's gearing up for PvP. Okay. Target destroyed. Direct our wrath anew. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, looking at a four set. Um, with the savior set, I really like it. The, the bonuses definitely suit suit me. Um, you know, the ability to, you know, every time you use a, uh, a med thing, you get that additional speed and damage, and the automatically using a med thing when you get low as well. Oh, Ravana. No mercy for the misguided. Get rid of the Ravana, get rid of the Ravana. Bosh. Punched him in the face. Oh, Lictor as well. Let's go get the Lictor. Ready yourselves. <laughs> the Force commanded this two shot the Lictor with a two handed Thunder Hammer to the face. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how it is done. <laughs> Auto healing, so good on PvP server. Yeah, I can imagine. Alright, oh, another lick tap. Priority target! Drive forward! And another lick tap! Wow! We got, we got lickers and rippers and go go. Jesus, and another lick tap! Right, now let's get rid of this. Oh my, we got a, uh, a plasma pistol. Need to get rid of these because they'll just keep spawning new ones. There we go. Oh my word, look at this lot. Right. That is a lot of firepower, man. Get rid of the zone throw. Uh, go after the raveners now. And uh, see if we can cut some down. Jesus Christ. That is so much. Carnifex beast! Bring it down! Where's the Carnifex? No? How about no? I'm not ready to fight Carnifex as well, because that is the big Carnifex, right? Alright, get rid of that. Ooh, this is this is pretty this is a lot of pressure man um i play warhammer in real life right i absolutely do i absolutely do yeah i play uh i play all the warhammer actually horus heresy um i, I don't play age of sigma but i do play 40k i do play um 30k which is the horus heresy but at the moment, I'm mostly into Warhammer the Old World, which is the old Warhammer fantasy. Oh my word, that card effect just disintegrated. Thunderhammer combined with a melee attack from the Venerable Dread. 
Wowzers. I did not expect the Carnifex to go down that fast. Let's get rid of the Spore Mines, because Spore Mines really hurt. And then get rid of the Ravener, because he's going to get rid of my armor. I don't like that. Right, now let's get rid of the Nests, because the Nests, they'll keep spawning. You've been thinking about getting into 40k, you want to get either Custodes or Grey Knights. Custodes? So my nephew plays Custodes, so I know a lot about Custodes. Um, I myself, uh, I have a Grey Knight army. Not the biggest, but I do have one. Um, so maybe I could be a bit biased. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of Custodes and the way they play. Um, because of the nature of Custodes being like super duper the best ever elite space marines i find that the rules for them mean they either play either they're really strong or they are really weak and and i don't find them that fun to play with or against the gray knights on the other hand i think are super fun um they offer a very different space marine experience so if you're not looking for like vanilla there's like obviously lots of people space play space marines um i would say in fact the, the volume on this is a little loud i'm just going to turn that volume just a touch down um there we go i would say the Grey Knights are really fun. They say they offer that different Space Marine experience. I wouldn't say they're that expensive an army to buy into compared to a lot of other armies. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I would definitely recommend Grey Knights. It is, it is expensive, but you, you don't want to be going and buying an army anyway on, like straight out because you'll just end up like me with a whole horde of grey plastic behind you um, that you haven't painted and everything and um, there, there's, there's, there's no deals right and, unless you're buying like a starter box or like the battalion box um, you know for grey knights which is where I would start start with like the start collecting box or something but there's no deals, right? The Games Workshop doesn't do sales. They don't do bulk deals or anything like that. So I, there's no reason to buy them in mass bulk. So I would buy them a bit at the time. Like, you know, a start collecting box is a good place to start. Um, hence the name. But also um, it offers, uh, you know probably close to 500 points maybe even a bit more which is like a good starting you'll get people that will play games with you at 500 points um you know and then you just then you can and then you can do escalation so that you can go from 500 points to a thousand points to 1500 points with the target being um the target being 2000 points that's a good place to be that's what most games are played at 2,000 points. Um, you do want to have a vanilla experience, but generic blue armor guy. So that's the thing with Space Marines, right? There is, there's a ton, right? And they're all different. So I play Ultramarines, right? Which are the basic poster boy blue powered armored Space Marines, right? I like, I just like that. I've played them since second edition, which is what, back in 1994 or so. Um, uh, so, yeah, but, and they are, they are as generic as it gets, but you could play Dark Angels, right? Dark Angels, you can field whole armies of Terminators, you can field a whole army of, like, these, like, um, like, hover land speeder things and bikes, which is the Raven Wing. You can field traditional Space Marines, but the thing with Dark Angels in terms of weaponry, they lean heavily into plasma, that's their thing. Plus, they have this whole inner circle. There's a whole special lore about them, and they actually, you can play them as normal Space Marines, but you can you can tailor them as well to make them like um, 
very specific so dark angels i would say is a great one they're the dark gray sorry dark gray dark green uh marines um and the death wing are all in like a bone colored terminator armor and then the raven wing are all black with the bikes and the and the land speeders that's quite a good one you've got